there. Wanted to share a little more good news with you. Have there, has there ever been a time when you were frustrated with yourself or angry or upset because you did something or said something you knew you shouldn't have? Well, we've all been there. What about those thoughts you let go through your mind about other people? Every single day, and sometimes many times a day, we act in ways we know aren't honoring to God. Our humanity is just human, isn't it? Well, the good news is God forgives us. Whether we understand what we are doing or not, God gives grace to us. Thank the Lord. <laughs> His perfect, unmerited favor covers a multitude of sins and is available to us 24 hours a day. The Bible is full of people who understood the powerful grace that God gives in our lives. I'll just give you a couple examples. First, there was Saul, or Paul. And according to himself, Saul was a Pharisee. He was the Pharisee of all Pharisees. If anyone had the right to, the right resume with numerous accolades, it was him. He was like the superstar. He stood for what was right and even stood by watching Christians being murdered. He applauded Stephen's murder. He was determined to rid the world of Christianity because he thought it was against God. He didn't understand. But then he met Jesus, literally, and he was radically changed. Saul renamed Paul and then became the most influential leader in the early church. He authored 13 out of 27 New Testament books. And we all know Peter, right? When referring to the 12 disciples of Jesus, Peter is almost always mentioned first. His leadership was evident, and he, he was known for being outspoken, almost boastful. So much so that when Jesus told the group that they would all desert him, Peter was adamant he would never do that. Have you ever done that? Oh, no, not me. I never say never, right? <laughs> um, after Jesus was arrested, Peter was confronted and denied that he knew Jesus, not once, but three times. When Jesus came back from the dead, he forgave Peter and restored him to ministry. He forgave him three times, remember? Peter went on to be one of the most influential leaders in the church. Paul didn't know what he was doing until he knew what he was doing. It's kind of a deep statement. He didn't know what he was doing until he knew what he was doing. <laughs> he generally didn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah, and he felt justified in his Jewish faith by attempting to rid the world of a supposed con artist. Peter, on the other hand, had been with Jesus, and many would say he knew better. He, he even proclaimed that he would be the last person to ever leave Jesus. Two very different scenarios covered by the same grace and forgiveness of God. We all sin and do the unthinkable, but God's grace lavishes us with forgiveness. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. No matter how far you've strayed or how corrupt you have been or who you've hurt, God's forgiveness is just a simple prayer away. In addition to having our sins forgiven, God won't waste our pain or experiences. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. That's an awesome one. We get to see those hard situations we walk through become stories for God's glory. Just look back at some of your mistakes and see how God has worked through it. He uses the most unlikely people to be his vessels of hope on the earth. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Peter, 1 Peter 4.8 
Are you willing to be an avenue of hope to someone who needs Jesus? I'm sure ready. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this beautiful day. I thank you for the gift of forgiveness. I thank you, Lord, that we can come to you broken and just knowing that we've hurt you and you will surround us with your loving arms. Lord Jesus, give us your um, forgiveness for others. Help us to show your forgiveness to those around us who've hurt us. Help us to love them as you love them. Lord, we give this day to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day.